Hi, welcome to Simply Nest Media. Today we're going to show you the new Thicus N8880-10G. Basically, it is the upgrade of the 8810U that we've been used to. Um, it also replaces the N8900. Whilst there's a new machine coming out that has the naming convention of the N8900 being the N8900 Pro, which we expect in the next couple of months, don't get it confused, this is the replacement for the N8900. The N8900 Pro goes more into the ilk of the N12000 and N16000 Pro. So for that matter, because of the upgrade of the 8900 Pro, the price differential means it won't be around the same as the 8900. However, the N8800, N8880 that we've got here is positioned in between the N8810U that it's replaced and also the N8900. Basically, this unit comes with an Intel i3-2120 processor, 3.3 GHz, which is a Sandy Bridge processor. It is dual core, so you do get plenty of power out of it. Um, but the biggest upgrade here will be the inclusion of 10 gig being base T as opposed to what we're used to on SFP+. Um, the base T upgrade means it's a bit more integratable for all of us. Our general networks of 10 gig now do use Ethernet ports as opposed to the SFP+. Um, that being said, don't get put off by the unit. It is on a PCI slot, so you can switch it out for a dual port base T, or you can move to SFP Plus if your environment requires that. Um, we've also got an upgrade boost on the RAM. The RAM is now moved up to 8 gig ECC RAM, which is DDR3. It is expandable all the way up to 32 gig, so that's one of the first few times that thinkers have allowed for official upgrades to their RAM. Of course, it's been able to be done before. All you had to do was take out the stick, but this time it's sufficiently supported by Thickus. They do have a compatibility list on their website for what type of RAMs can be used in the NAS. And of course, we'll integrate also, so we'll have that available on our website as well, if you do choose to upgrade your RAM. Um, aside from that, it is a pretty standard upgrade. The newest inclusions, however, are because it is an 8-bay unit, Thickus have allowed for RAID 50 and 60 on this unit now as well. So you get a little bit of extra performance boost after the 50 and 60 as opposed to the traditional RAID 5 and 6 sets. Um, that it allows you a bit more quicker transfer rate. Um, it's also great for when you're using it as an iSCSI target as well. Um, and remember, all thicknesses do come bundled with your Cronus True Image. Uh, so you do get a, a free version of a Cronus True Image, which is licensed. It's an OEM version that is provided by Thickus um, that allows you to meet all your backup needs to the NAS as well. Um, generally, looking at the front of the unit, it's what we're used to with Thickus units. There's nothing really to delve into. Um, you've got your general tray at the back here. Once you open that up, you've got all your hard drive trays. Um, the power button's located behind the guard as usual as well. Uh, and you just simply unscrew these two and you can get your, your tray. We won't do it here because it doesn't work very nicely on a flat top table. You have to kind of bring it forward on the edge of the table. Um, that'll cut us out of the video. Um, but generally, that's your, that's your general upgrade of the thickest. There's nothing really much to say aside from that. Performance has improved on the NAS. Um, the other advantage will be, of course, mixing and matching support of SSDs. Uh, bringing in half your volume on SSD so you get quicker transfer rate and then using the rest of SATA storage for your just your general cold storage. Um, we'll bring you around the back so we can just give you a take, give you a quick look at the back of the unit as well. We have, do have the inclusion of an HDMI port now as well. A lot of our monitors these days do have HDMI as opposed to VGA. Um, they do back up to VGA, but that being said, it's nice to use HDMI when you can as well. So the console mode there will support HDMI. You do have your USB slots, but we'll talk about that once I bring you around to the back of the unit. So let's let's switch it around and take a look at the back of the unit.